Okay, making progress here on the off-grid power trailer here. Um, but this actual video is going to be a shorter one. Yeah, it's about what I'm doing for the decking. Now, I used a piece of pressure-treated lumber on there. Some people call it marine plywood, but it's that green, kind of funky stuff you get at Home Depot and Lowe's. That's for high moisture outdoor type applications. And I used a fairly thick piece, so it's actually not as lightweight as some of my other trailer projects. On my last trailer project, I used a polyurethane paint. And one of the issues I ran into with that polyurethane paint was that the deck was a little slippery. Okay, so I, I went and I looked up this stuff over at Lowe's. Now, Home Depot also has it. And just rust all it's his deck liquid armor resurface stuff one thing different about this compared to the polyurethane is it's actually a water base so it's a water cleanup and you have to use special rollers with it and I have one laying around here somewhere there it is um, and I thought you know because it was a polymer base you'd have to throw these rollers away after every use that's not the case once you buy one of those special rollers it's it's actually going to be good for your whole project and uh, you're, you're not going to have a problem saving that now they also talk about how you layer this material on and what I'm finding is that you can lay it on really thick in the first application because it, it definitely works as a filler it's got some kind of little polymer beads or sand or something in it um, that's kind of embedded in the paint and that's what kind of coagulates and gives you this this irregular kind of grippy surface when it dries so I'm not adding layers to this whole thing I'm, I'm only going to be adding it to the sections where I want to fill the cracks in the wood and and get a, a relatively good even surface on the deck of this trailer now what I'm hoping to do is save enough out of that gallon to do a thin layer on this on another flatbed trailer that I did where I finished it with the polyurethane paint just to give it this kind of grippy non-slip surface that I, I don't get with the polyurethane and uh, and this stuff does have some fill properties to it but one of the things to understand about that is that it shrinks when it dries okay any any of this water-based type stuff has a tendency to really shrink when it dries. The other thing I, I'm noticing is, if you can see on that toolbox there, it kind of throws this shit around. So if you're rolling it, you, you actually end up with kind of an overspray issue. So, um, and it throws it pretty far, oddly enough. So it's going to kind of get on clothes and stuff. Fortunately, being water cleanup, you just get your clothes over to a... Uh, washing machine quickly and you'll be good to go the other thing is this stuff does not come with color doesn't come with pigment uh, what you do is when you pick it out at the store Home Depot or Lowe's you, you take it over to the paint counter and they'll add tint to it for free that's part of the deal and so I wanted to do this in kind of a red white and blue theme and they uh that's about as blue as it's going to get there's some limitations because it's kind of an off-white color to begin with with um, that that kind of plastic material in there but you can kind of sort of play around with some camouflage colors too and it puts that kind of a polymer non-slip grippy type surface on wood the other thing is that if I were doing this on a deck or a building or let's say a tent deck uh, not something that's going down the road because if something that's going down the road I gotta worry about water spraying up underneath that's why I use the pressure treated lumber here but if you want to do like a real bargain basement but high quality survival shelter project that you build up over time one way to work with this stuff is to put in let's say a 16 by 16 platform deck of uh, just plywood okay I, I mean it's two two by four two by six framing if you go with two by six framing then assume that you're not really going to have a problem building a uh, structure on top of it 
Two by four framing, all you're going to be putting on top is tents, okay? But if you go with two by six or even two by ten framing, you can put a structure on top of that. You build a deck, you, you sheath it with just regular old uh, plywood or even OSB. You know, try to get the thicker tongue and groove stuff if you're going to be putting the building over it. And, and then surface it with this, and you're good for several years. You, you know, and, and it's very fast to build, fast to dry. This will be a very good weekend project. Where you, and once you put a deck in with this stuff on plywood, then you, you can go set up your large cabin tents on that deck. And the only structure that's absolutely necessary to be on site would be like a, a much smaller storage shed that you would keep that type of bug out or camping gear in. Uh, you know, so, so it's an in place supply of things you really don't want to be clogging up the cargo space to your bug out vehicle. Now, as far as building trailer projects and other stuff like that, yeah, if you're going to use a plywood deck on something and it's going to be an outdoor thing, this is an option. It, it's not super cheap. It, it doesn't make everything really cheap, but it can save you a lot of headache in the future of having to redeck that thing just a few years later.